We'll proceed for the second case. The second case will be by Dr. Farhan Mehman from the NICBD. Dr. Farhan Mehman. So please finish in time because we are just running a short of time. case is uh, in trapped NC. Before starting of the case, I don't have any potential conflict of interest to declare. So we have a patient of 60 years old male who was hypertensive since uh, five, six years and diabetic since five years, presented with the complaint of typical chest pain for three hours. When the ECG was done, it showed uh, infival AMI with uh, RV infarction. So, and patient was hemodynamically stable and uh, it was in clip class one. So patient has been uh, rushed to the cath lay by the primary Axis was taken through the radial artery and uh, left artery done, uh, uh, which uh, revealed the disease, severe disease in the mid of the RCA. And severe disease in the OM1, as well as moderate disease in the mid LAD. So the RCA was engaged with uh, GR40 guider and BMW wire was parked in the PDA and uh, the lesion was uh, covered with the uh, days 3034 and this was a view after standing. As the stent was not fully open. So we tried to post dilate it with a non-complaint balloon that was uh, 3, 5, uh, 12. And it was inflated at uh, 12 atmosphere, which was nominal pressure. This was the first inflation. And, and in the second slide, that was the second inflation at the distal part. When we came back to the first uh, inflated part and we tried to inflate at higher pressure, when we went to the uh, 16 atmosphere, the uh, unfortunately the NC couldn't deflate it. So what next? Any idea from the audience? Our NC is in the patient uh, RCA, and patient was presented with the infival MI. Dane, mic DJ, please. Mic DJ. Sorry, doctor. Mic on, current, bhai. Yeah. Okay, so we tried uh, multiple steps uh, like uh, saline dilution of the contrast and we changed the device and also we used the two devices at the same time and through the um, uh, NC and as well as uh, we uh, took the guidezilla and tried the hard end of the wire in order to deflate the NC, but unfortunately, it was totally unsucceeded. 
and um, fortunately the patient was hemodynamically stable but uh, later on the patient developed the chest pain so we took the surgical team on board and uh, patient was rushed to the OR. So there was uh, undeflated NC was retrieved and uh, RCA as well as the OM was grafted with the SVG. So okay, uh, can, we, can we ask them, I think, what could have been done other than just pushing the, another thick end of the wire? I think, I think two or three steps which can be done. One is to take the back end of the wire. You can we try that, but uh, we so one is that the other is you can take the high CTO wires and then try to push it with that. The other thing is you can take the guard liner, cut the interior end of the guard liner, and push it, and that can uh, that can be done, and that can lead to the deflation of the balloon. And the third, there is one of the tromo catheter which is specialized. I can't hear you well, please. Sir. Uh, so the third one is uh, so second one is you take the guard liner, cut the interior end, soft end, and then push it and then that can cause the deflation of the balloon. Uh, the third is you can take a tromo catheter specialized for this uh, balloon def undeflatable, undeflatable balloon and that is very good in uh, deflating the balloon. So these are the three things which did can you, be done. Did you think of uh, crossing with the another wire and use another one uh, balloon? Because the NC was inflated at the nominal pressure so we don't have the any space in order to pass the and that uh, undeflated but NC. Did you try it? Yes, of course. It did not cross? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Dr. Ahmed Mukhi, assistant professor of cardiology at the hospital. Excellent case. Uh, and uh, once we had uh, such complication uh, while doing uh, LED, uh, there are multiple options as has been discussed with uh, uh, by uh, Dr. Uh, one of the option is that uh, we can uh, take a guide extension catheter and use it uh, uh, to uh, protect, the, protect the vessel. Uh, the other option that was not uh, discussed and uh, I think that is the most common option is that uh, sometimes there is kink in the uh, lumen or the soft part of the ca balloon catheter. And that uh, uh, kink can uh, make it uh, as a one-way valve. Uh, one-way valve that uh, it, it uh, get inflated but it does don't uh, get down or deflated. So one option is that uh, we uh, take a simple wire and uh, we can uh, uh, re restore that uh, kink in the lumen. Uh, that is a recommended option. The third option, uh, taking a hardware that was discussed, uh, is not recommended according to the guidelines. Uh, that is not recommended approach. Okay. I think this uh, should all be tried in a um, uh, hemodynamically uh, stable situation. But if you uh, took the patient, which is uh, a primary, so you don't go. Uh, you don't have to go to beyond the extent in which your patient becomes uh, hemodynamically unstable and the thing's going to be out of control. So it managed. is all about and the anticipatory measures that has to be taken in order to rescue the patient. It is not all about the efforts that you have tried because in the last it is not you but your patient should win. Uh, that, that's why I agree with the, you that uh, that case has been accidentally managed. I've and, started and, my comment. And my last question to managed. you is what is the commonest cause of uh, this uh, balloon not being deflated. Hmm? The proportion of the dye and saline is not uh, okay. okay. Maybe. Sharp, sharp kink. Is a common cause is when you retrieve the shaft, look at the shaft. Usually there is shaft fracture. So yes. you suck it, then you have the rest of the vessel from your guider 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 from your always look for it whenever you retrieve it most of the time you will find fracture in the shaft of this balloon catheter it happens that when you suck it then you don't have the rest of the balloon from your guider 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 so that is a common cause uh, I'm Dr. Ah. Shreya. Sir, can kindly can we uh, can can you please comment on that? If we inflate the balloon further and we rupture it, what if we rupture it and uh, because it's, it's if it's getting inflated, and we can't inflate it. They go, uh, rough, that, that's one way of doing it, but this is NC balloon. <laughs> Remember that uh, NC balloon. Ko agar aap 20 tak le jai, it's fine. 22, 24, it's fine. Once you go to 28, to 25 ka balloon 30 ka ho jata hai. 
डोंट फोगेट दैट वो भी एक इशू होता है तो रप्चर करने से पहले आप जरूर सोचो कि आपका किस साइज का बलून है बट देर आर वेज आप वायर क्रॉस करें एक वायर नहीं दूसरा करें तीसरा करें वंस यू हैव क्रॉस द वायर देन द चांसेस आर उसमें वन ओ का बलून भी क्रॉस हो जाए सी टी ओ बलून तो इट हैपन बट यस दीज थिंग्स कैन हैपन टू एनी बडी इट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद ऑपरेट but uh, there are the some case reported in which the patient was also sent for the surgical retrieval and uh, one of the case report in which uh, the operator has decided as per his uh, comfort level and the hemodynamic uh, hemodynamics of the patient he uh, shifted the patient to the um, or for surgical retrieval as well as the other case report that was uh, uh, published in the iha journal in which they also uh, deflated the nc balloon with the uh, cutting the uh, most distal part of the nc so that it could uh, it could uh, spontaneously deflate it any one, question one, one so more important thing is take home message is that you anticipate the uh, actions as well as uh, so uh, so you could be able to uh, rescue the patient of life thank you all right thank you very much farhan with a good take away message